Welcome to this week's edition of Chatting with the Champ, where we follow the IBF lightweight champion of the world, Robert Easter Jr., and his journey to his first title defense on February 10th at the Huntington Center. Joining us now in studio, Robert Easter Sr., I'm Christina Owayo, and thank you, as always, for being here with us. Let's jump right into it. Two fighters this last week were added to the undercard in Tyler McCreary and Albert Bell. Can you talk about what went into the decision in having them fight on this card? Right, yeah, well, before the fight, everything took place. I, um, I messaged Albert and told him, hey, look, we're gonna put a show on Toledo. I'm gonna have you on the card along with a couple other people. But everything didn't get finalized until later on earlier this week and we um finally got everything set in stone so we made it happen so like i said you know two years ago our plan was to bring the fight back to toledo and along with that we was going to have local fighters on the fight such as albert bear and tyler mccreary and sunny but we didn't get sunny on but we got a couple of the other locals and adrian uh, Adrian Wilson is another one, and Devin Vargas also is one. So you've been <clears throat> planning this homecoming, so to speak, for years. Oh yeah, oh yeah, two and, years to be exact. And then you spoke with Albert not too long ago while he was in Vegas, right? Right, He was Albert was out in Vegas. I messaged him and said, hey, look, uh, you want to fight on the um, undercard of Robert? He's like, it'd be nice, yes. So we made it happen. And now you've worked with Tyler and you're familiar with Albert. Describe what type of fighters each one of them are, starting with Tyler. Tyler, he's a quiet, patient guy. He's, he's, he takes the fight to people on patience. He's not a, a explosive, but he can be when needed. But he's a very good um, slow fighter and hard puncher. Okay, now how about Albert? Albert Bell is a boxer. He will box the heck out of you. <laughs> He's a very good boxer. Mm -hmm. And what's the relationship, Albert, Tyler, Jr., yourself? <clears throat> well, we all have a relationship. We all been in the boxing game for a long time. Starting back with me and his dad back in 78. Me and his dad was boxing, um, you know, Golden Gloves. And throughout the um, years, we would go to tournaments together and we'd be, be on the same Golden Gloves team. Mm -hmm. And um, back in 93, we was on the uh, Golden Gloves team together. And um, so then when we got of age and got our kids older, we got them into it. So they always been around the boxing game together. We traveled the world together. Now this last week, it was Junior's birthday. Well, most people are out partying. Junior was actually in the gym training hard. Birthdays are always a time where you can reminisce a little bit. What kind of a kid was Junior? <laughs> he, he, was, he, he actually was a quiet kid. Just like now, he's quiet, respectful, and and just just a good kid all around. Mm -hmm. So it was his birthday, and he did train. Training don't stop because of things like that. Mm -hmm. We have to keep training. So you know, we trained, and then we went out went out to dinner later on and celebrated. That's what I was just going to ask you. You did actually get a little bit of time to hang out outside of the gym, right? Yes, we did. Yes, we did. You have a birthday shout out for your boy? Yeah. Happy birthday, son. I love you and I'm proud of you. And I wish the best to everything you do. And congratulations on your son that's going to be arriving. And that was exciting for him to learn it was a boy, right? Yes, it was. Yes, it was. <laughs> we have a new boxer coming up here in a few years. Well, more than a few years. Yeah, a few more. All right, this fight is coming up quick. We're now talking about counting down the days instead of the weeks. What adjustments are you guys making to make sure, you know, he's still working hard, but he's getting his proper rest so that way he's fresh come fight night? Well, like, um, we do, we still in the gym. We, we do things. We do them a little differently now, but we still get everything in there. We just tone it down just a little bit, cutting that weight, making sure everything is good, and he's still being able to eat. So with that being said, everything is smoothing out, and he's on weight, and he's ready to roll. Now, I don't think a lot of people know exactly how restricted his diet is. Can you describe some of the things that he eats or his eating habits? Uh, steamed rice, steamed vegetables, baked foods, 
grilled fish, salmon, you know, nothing fried, none of it. And we cut out a lot of the, um, the starch. We just do a little bit, but we cut a lot of it out. And no soda and no juice. No, no soda, no, no juice, none of that. Good water, sometimes Gatorade, because puts the little things back in, the, in your body. Exactly, okay, yeah. so he's a champion. He's a champion in all walks of life, in and out of the ring. Tell everybody again, where can we get tickets? You can get tickets from my brother James at 419-690-3023. All right, there you have it. Robert Easter Jr. in his first title defense on February 10th at the Huntington Center. He will be fighting Luis Cruz. Of course, you'll be in the ring with him. I'll be there watching, and we hope all of you are in attendance at that fight. You better get your tickets. They're selling out quick. Come all on. right, that's going to do it for this week's edition of Chatting with the Champ. For Robert Easter Sr., I'm Christina Wyo. See you next time.